Hey everybody, this is David from Barista Lab, and today we're outside in uh, Palos Verdes. As you can see, it's a beautiful day. And today we're going to do a video review on the brewer. It's actually whale watching season, so we're out here right now trying to see some whales. But so far we've only seen dolphins. Um, but anyways, thought it'd be way nicer to do a video review outside instead of cooped up inside awesome day uh so here we go this is the brewer um it was a kickstarter project not too long ago huge success and uh now they got their main inventory in and they're starting to sell and we're one of the people who are carrying it it is a cold brew uh coffee brewer and uh we'll just go over how it works first and uh what we like and what we dislike about it First off, it's um, made out of a plastic type of material. It's, it's very similar to glass, but it is plastic. It won't stain. Um, it feels pretty hard like glass, and, uh, but it, it's, a, it's a lot uh, more sturdier. Um, but it feels, it feels pretty nice. And the blue, everything blue that you see is silicon, blue silicon. And the way this works is it's actually like a drip type of cold brew system where uh, the coffee goes in this chamber right here. Uh, there's a metal mesh filter uh, right here. And, um, and another paper filter goes on top of the coffee grounds. And that is to help disperse the water so you get a nice even bed of water dripping through the grounds. And this filter, I think it's pretty much the same as the AeroPress. And you can probably just uh, use the same your, your AeroPress filter uh, for this as well, which is actually really cool. So uh, it does about 60 grams of coffee in here. This is the directions that Cold Brewer um, say to do. Uh, about 60 grams of coffee here at a medium grind and 700 grams of water and ice mixture at the top. And so basically you uh, put the coffee in, you pre-soak or pre-wet the grounds so they're fully uh, fully soaked and then you put your water in the top chamber here and what you do is you adjust this nozzle and uh, that adjusts how fast the water is dripping on top of the grounds and Brewer says to do about one drop per second so adjust to get to that and uh, you're good just put it in the fridge or leave it out if you put ice in it and uh, you'll have cold brew. Uh, I think what, what's actually awesome about this is something that I discovered. Oh, motorcycle's going by. One thing that I think is actually really awesome about this, which I didn't discover till you know, I brewed it the second time, was that uh, you don't have to come back after like 16 hours or you don't have to come back after 24 hours and drop, drop the uh, cold brew or, or release the... Um, release the cold brew from from the filter or from like a uh, reservoir um, like you have to do with a toddy system or the filtron and uh, what's kind of funny about that is I was I was getting ready to brew uh, in the cold brewer and I was trying to think like oh like what do, where do I have to be in you know 16 hours or where do I have to be in 24 hours I got to make sure to like come back and and drop the uh, cold brew from the filter and then I thought, oh wait, on the cold brew, you actually don't have to do that because it's already filtered and uh, it slowly drips into uh, uh, the bottom part where the coffee's already separated from the grounds. So uh, I thought that was pretty cool about the, the uh, cold brewer. And uh, like with other ones, like the Filtron or the Toddy, you have to make sure to come back and release the plug or else you know, it'll, be, it'll be brewing too long and it may mess up your brew. Uh, so I thought that was like the coolest thing about the cold brewer, which is really nice. Uh, it's like a mini version of those huge uh, drip machines that you see in fancy coffee shops, uh, cold brew drip machines, and uh, like the Kyoto drip. And uh, I would say the most negative thing about this is probably like how much it makes um, given cold brewer's instructions. It'll basically fill up um, just under this filter and what I found is when I did it I pretty much consumed it or shared it with friends and it was gone within 
like 20 minutes. So if you're into making a lot of cold brew or making cold brew that will that you'll put in the fridge all week and use, this is probably not for you. Um, if you'd like to make cold brew every day and just have a little bit, um, a couple cups full, then uh, the cold brewer is probably more your style. But if you want to make like huge batch that will last a while, uh, it's not going to happen with this. And I think that is that's probably like the biggest complaint about this is that it just doesn't make enough if you want it to. Uh, you could probably mess with the ratios a little bit and make a more concentrated version, but uh, I haven't tried that yet. So that's that's the biggest negative. Um, other than that, the paper filter is super simple. It's just an AeroPress filter, and um, and the mesh filter on the bottom is pretty much uh, reusable, and it's super easy to use. And that's about it. This is the cold brewer, and um, and that's our Bruce Lab review. Cheers.